What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Episode 2 in our farming series. I'm excited to get this started. And right now I'm just coming up with a fun way to collect everything because in this episode I want to come up with a really cool way to harvest this using the path creator. I had this idea. I saw some other people do it. So I'm not stealing it. But they came up with some awesome ideas and I'm excited to use something similar as well. But for now I'm just tearing everything down. But the funnest way I could think of, whoops, well, I pressed something. Oh, funniest, did I actually hit that? That's funny. But the funnest way right now is using these uh, things. Who is this? Uh, shoot, he's the dude from Spider-Man. Green Goblin. Using uh, his grenade things, whatever you want to call them, to knock everything down. It's kind of got like an AOE effect, so you can knock everything down fairly easily. Oh, didn't hit these. Let's get those. There we go. Got all our tomatoes. Got right now. I'm mainly focusing tomatoes and corn stuff. I'm growing one of everything, so I at least have a like a collection of stuff going. But then the thing I'm focusing on is sunflower seeds because that will allow you when you feed them to your sidekicks, it will let them be able to what's it called? Uh, excuse me. You will be able to do. Uh, I'm forgetting. Upgrade their tool abilities, and with that you can have the option and the ability to hopefully grow some rare plants. Because once you get to level 25, I'll show you guys. Go into the sidekick menu. Sully was the guy I was loving up the most. You can see he's level 19 when it comes to the tools. So we go to gear. I want to be able to get this pro farming tool. Because as you can see, the second skill, it increases the chance the sidekick will plant a rare crop. Right now, we don't have that. This is the farming hoe we're using right now. And it just has a chance of not growing weeds. So that's all we have right now. So... First off, I want to add a few more areas. Actually, I can't afford to do it, so we're not going to do that right now. Instead, or actually, I think we can. I don't think it costs. I think it just costs to buy it. Let's check. Can we add some more land? Because the more land we have, the quicker we can get stuff going. I think it's under group four. Yeah, there it is. I'm not sure. Is there a... Let me press L2. Is there a difference? Okay, it doesn't say. Okay. Alright, well let's get another plot going. We'll place one here. We'll do one more. Well, we'll do two more on each side. So we can get a lot of land rolling. So then we can start uh, clearing it quicker and come up. Oh, you can see we have the cactus growing. I'm not sure if that's good or not. I'm not sure what that's supposed to turn into. It's still growing. I saw it come up earlier. Why can I not place that? Why can I not place that? Is there something in the way? What's stopping it? That's weird. All right, well, we'll just leave that one, and we'll do the next one. This one there, there, and right there. So now people should start working on those areas. And now we're going to jump in. We're going to go to the Creativity Toys and come up with a cool way to harvest all these. At least I hope this will work. Now, where there they are. We'll take the Path Creator. Since we spawn over here, let's put it... Let's just put it right here. This is where it'll start. Um, let's see. So we'll start it there. I want to do to come down, lock in right here. Let me see. I'm trying to think. We'll place it right there, and then it's gonna go all the way down this way. When we get to the edge, we'll stop it right here. We'll scoot over two blocks, come down again, so we'll get the next area. As you can see, we're kind of cutting in between two of them. Place another one there, go over two spaces, down another row. We're just gonna keep going, and this is basically gonna be the process. Go there, go over two more, bring it downtown. So, right there, two more, all the way down. This is just a tedious process, so I'll do it, and I'll see you guys when I get done. Alright, so we've got the basic path set up. Let's pull out the magic wand. There, there it is. See, goes all the way down. Stuff's growing right now, so we'll have to still test it and see what happens. But for now, let's come up with a vehicle we should use. 
I have some ideas. I'm not exactly sure which one we should use yet, though. So let's find the vehicle. There he is. Oh, there they are. Let's go over the cool ground vehicle. I think this is every vehicle that I can unlock right now. Should be unlocked. That's a cool idea. So is this one, though. That's a cool-looking vehicle. This mining transport. Oh, light cycle. Not even a question. We're going to have to use the light cycle. So what we'll do is we'll set it right here next to it. Let's do that. Let's go in here. Got to edit a couple things first. Go to the properties. We will turn it on. It will be looped as well. We'll turn the speed up to 300. We'll do that. Let's see, I think that's everything we need right here. Let's come out of there. And now we'll connect the bike to it. We'll connect it. New path connection. It will connect right at her. Toy box path. Oh, and it started. We have to do something real quick. Come here. Come here. Oh, we got to catch it. We got to catch it. I missed it. Okay, I was like, come back. Let's see. Come on back. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, we'll go to properties. Toy box path. We'll have it orient along the path. And let's also... We'll put this one at 200. I'm not sure which one controls it, but we'll put it at 200. Let's come out of there. Now we'll go into new logic connection. And we'll say when entered, it will actually turn this on. So we'll come over here. It will reset and play. And now we need to get back out. We got to catch it. Oh my God, it's going so fast. Got it. And then we'll say... When exited, it will come over here, reset, and stop. Now we just got to be able to hop in it. Wait, which button? Which button lets you get in? There we go. So now we will pull up some weapons. Let's do. Let's do this one. Whoa, what happened? Whoa. The game was just like, nope, you ain't doing that. Was it because I ran to the cactus? Let's find out. I hit the cactus this time, I think. No, I went through it that time. Maybe I did something before. Okay, I must have done something before. But let's have this bombs away right here. And now we'll fire it. And it should start clearing stuff for us. I gotta figure out a way to make it work. Keep firing. I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm still trying to figure out the best thing to do. Are there any other... That's the only weapons we have right now. Okay. Maybe we should go with this one, this multi-shot. Let's try that. Let's see. It's gonna make a loop around now. And it's gonna go back to the beginning. So it's gonna start over now. And see, I think it'll hit everything... And it's like it can get one run per set. It's kind of, it's floating though. I need to put it on the ground. I'm not sure if there's a reason why. I don't know if I need to lower the paths. And that'll do it. Maybe it will. Here, let's get out. Let's pick up everything that already fell. So let's come over here. Where's everything that fell? Okay, it's over here. Because this is rare. That's rare. Whatever, I'm not sure what it does, but I know it's rare. We'll come in. Let's try lowering all these. Let's get. The, let's take these. What we'll do is we'll drop them down one like that. So we'll do that for all of them. I'll do that really quick, and I'll see you guys when I get done. All right, guys. I just got done lowering them all. As you can see, they're all kind of in the ground now. I'm hoping this doesn't place me in the ground. It's the only way, it's the next lowest thing, so I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to hop in, and we'll see what happens anyway. Okay, that's more promising. It's kind of freaking it out. Let's see, if I fire. Okay, now as you can see, it's definitely hitting everything. And we just got a new hat, which is awesome. So I can't tell if I'm collecting everything or not. I'm not knocking a lot down yet. Okay, yeah, look at that, this is working. We're able to shoot everything down. It does freak the camera out a little bit, but it's all good. And kind of by the time we get to the end, the gun is about out. It'll reset. 
and then we can shoot the next run. And look at that, we got cotton candy now also. I didn't forgot to show that, but yeah, we got cotton candy. You can see it on the side. We'll shoot it this time. So that's a new thing. Well, that one shouldn't have done what it did. We'll have to work on that. We'll have to fix that one. But yeah, guys, it looks like this is kind of working. Again, it kind of freaks the camera out at the beginning, but then it starts working fine. But look at that. This is a nice little efficient way. When we, this is all grown up, I think this will be a really, really cool way to farm all our crops. So let's go and let's check out what the cotton candy does before we call it an episode. Go into the sidekicks. Let's look. We'll feed Sully because I want to try to get him the uh, the rare crop tool. Let's go into the food. Let's see what cotton candy does. It benefits. Okay. So it benefits the uh, the combat. Oh, and it benefits it a lot too, it looks like. Because let's see. What else benefits combat? Oh, and we got churros. It was That's what that was. I didn't know what it was, but we got churros now. That's awesome. And we got chocolate coin. So we got some cool stuff. And you can see where the, uh, what was it, the sunflower seeds do that much, then the churro does about double it, so I guess that means that's what a rare crop does, it gives double what a normal crop does. But that's awesome. So now, let's take it, we will, we're gonna work on churros, we'll put a lot of guys with churro hats now. So hopefully that means we can get some churros going. But let's go in, actually before we do that, let's see if we can give him a churro hat. We can, and we have enough. So let's go in, we'll give him a churro hat, We'll also go ahead and feed him and see how close we can get him to 25 again. Oh, wrong button. Let's go to food. We'll feed him the churro because we want him to be a guy that can farm churros. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. We'll spam this up. Can we hit 25? I think we're going to be able to hit 25. Perfect. Now we're level 25. We can give him the really, I don't know, whatever this, the hoes call this really good. We can give him the pro farming hoe now. So now he can do that. And he can hopefully farm churros. So let's place him in the world. Let's go. Who should we do next? Let's do... Let's just start with the next one. Let's do Anna. We'll feed... We'll give her the same hat. We'll gear her up so we can hopefully get some churros. We'll also work on... What was it? Cotton candy? Because that... I can't remember what that one replaced. But for right now, we're working on churros. We want to get as many of these guys as high level as possible. Let's see if we can get her to 25 by feeding her to do that as well. Let's give her some of this. 16, 17, 18, 9. I'm going to have to... Oh, there we go. Okay. We're able to hit 21. So we were close. We were pretty close. So we'll leave her there for now. Let's give a couple other people... The churro one, let's place her. Let's give, she was doing sunflower, let's give her the churro also. What's oh, a churro cactus? Okay, I was thinking cactus, but I wasn't sure. She's doing corn, but let her be. He's doing sunflower, so let's give him churro. We'll also try to get some sunflowers also, because they'll be more likely. So we'll keep a few. I think that's a decent, well, we need to give, we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there for now. So let's hop out, and guys, I'm going to call an episode right here. They're going to get work the plot. They're going to get to work. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the farm. Let me know if there's any tips that you have that I should be working on. And let me know what you think of my little farming idea. If you have, like I said, any ideas, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I want to make this thing as efficient and awesome as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Smack that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that I post. And guys, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Later! Do we have any more churros growing? Nope, no churros yet, but we'll see.